presentation, I'm going to show you how to backtest an option trade from an option suggested from the darknet buy signals. What we're going to do to start is put our cursor up on the home tab, left click on the darknet signals. You'll notice that I have the backtest date to January 7th. You can leave it for the current date, set it back to whatever date you want to. If you want to follow along this presentation on your own, you can set the date to the 7th and then click update and you'll have it ready to go from January 7th of 2015. What we want to do from here folks is under the darknet signal tab you want to click on the box that has a check mark next to cells because what we want to look for is buy signals only right now from this date. Click on the replace tab and recognize what you're doing folks when you click on replace is you're replacing these candidates into your my stock list. So it says here underneath darknet signals, save signals to my stock list. Once that's done, let's go over here to the darknet searches and actions and click on the calls button. Left clicking on calls, it'll reset the screen to the search stocks and darknet controls, darknet actions boxes. Here you want to make sure that your stock lists is the my stock list. If it defaults to pennies and weeklies or some other list, just click on the drop down arrow, go to your my stock list, click on that. Second, we want to change the back test date range days to 1,500. And then we want to recheck the cells box over here because we want to now take these candidates that are on the my stock list and look at the buys to the sell signal. So once that's done, click on search. And you'll see that the time is counting over here. This is going to take a little bit of time than a normal search on just a stocks list because you're looking at a bunch of different options as well. Make sure folks that again you have the my stock list in that box over here so that when it finishes its search it's done so on the my stock list and you can go down and see the different candidates here. To bring up the chart for each one of these stock candidates here just click on the dark that's listed next to the ticker symbol and you'll see a chart that shows the current buy signal and if there is any prior buy to sell signals in the date range of this chart it will show that for you there. Here's one back in July. If you want to make this chart disappear just left click on it go to the next one on the list IVV this is the iShares S&P 500 index and you'll see that it brings up an additional uh, buy and sell uh, case study that happened prior to the existing one going right now. Right now we have a buy signal and a rebuy signal on the IVV. So we want to look at this prior trade here, this last B signal to S signal, this last trade on IVV. We can even do it on the one prior to that too, but at least let's focus in on this one here. So what you'll see folks is that that buy date the current one here under this column buy date is 1217 and then the rebuy date is for 17. We want to set our calendar date back prior to that 1217 date because we don't want to look at the current one that's in play, the current case study on IVV that's in play right now. We want to look at the ones prior to 1217. So let's go up here to the date range box. Let's actually click on the calendar, change it to December of 2014 and the day prior, so if it was 12.17 the buy date, let's go 12.16. All right, the date is set back. Let's click on, well, we don't have to click on anything. It'll automatically reset itself, and then we click on search. Once we've clicked on search now, it'll go back through the same time calculations to try and set up all the different candidates from 12.16 back the 1,500 days. I'll show you a way to make this a little bit quicker search capability and in just a moment. All right, so here we are. We have everything back here. We have the IVV again. You can click on the dark. And you'll see that now we're picking up that candidate IVV options trade or stock trade from 1017 to, and let's calculate this. Let's see uh, what that sell signal date was. Here we have 11.4 on that, uh, on that uh, vertical line. So 11.4, then we go one, two, three, four more trade days forward to get the signal. So let's bring up our calendar down here, go to 11.4, and calculate four trading days forward. One, two, three, and that would be 
uh, November 10th. So let's write those down on a separate sheet of paper, folks. The buy signal happened on 10-17 of 14, and then the sell signal kicked in 11-10 of 14, because you want to enter that information in just a moment. So let's click on that to get rid of the chart. And now uh, what we want to do is set the date to October 17th. Click on the calendar. We go to October 2014. Leave it there. Click on the 17th. It will refresh the screen. And now instead of doing the search under the My Stock List, let's just click on the stock symbol radio button there. Type in IVV and then click search. This search will happen a lot quicker now because it's only looking up the IVV. <coughs> Excuse me. Here's the row with all the information that we need. And what's specific now is it shows you the trade leg that was highlighted or calculated as the ideal trade uh, uh, for the IVV buy signal from Darknet. So let's click on that trade leg line item there. You'll open up a new tab and you're going to open up a new tab like you always do when you're looking at a risk graph. So this is a risk graph for the November 180 calls on the IVV darknet buy signal. And you'll see folks, you got your chart, your risk graph, and your trade plans and story here. The mid quote for this trade, the 1140 by 1190 mid quote was 1165. So it's an $1165 debit to start. Now we have the sell signal date which was November 10th so what we want to do is go up to our back test date click on the calendar and change it now to November 10th and let's see how this played out what kind of returns we got because the buy signal from darknet came on 1017 for IVV rather than just buying IVV uh, or a stock you know we're options traders so we're doing the options analysis here so we go to November 10th we scroll down you'll see that the chart shows the run from the buy signal on the 17th to the sell signal on the 10th of November and the profitability on this option would have been at the mid quote $1,315. So not only did it work out, you get to see how well it worked out profitability wise. So there you go folks, that's how to do a back test on an option. Now if you want to say, okay, we're currently in a rebuy situation on IVV, if I'm going to consider going long this or go long call options, and I want to use more than just one previous trade to give me some conviction. Well, find the prior trade to that one. And you'll see it's back here around uh, July. So you can calculate the buy and sell signal dates for that prior trade. Do the same calculation and look at what the profitability was on that last successful trade. And repeat as much as you like. Now to wrap folks, if you wanted to do this on stocks, you can do that just as well. Let's update to the current date by clicking on go on update back test date. Uh, let's see, let's go to the latest. And when that refreshes and comes up to the latest date, here's what you guys can do for just the stocks only. Again, put your cursor on home, left click on the dark net signals. It's going to bring up this display again, left click on cells so that you take the check mark out of the cells. We don't want to pick up the buys and rebuys and such. Click replace. And it's going to again take this candidate list to your my stock list now instead of clicking on calls over here just click on stocks same thing make sure your stock list is selected into that window do it for a back test range of 1500 days click your cells now so that you can pick up the buy and sell signals on just this list and then click search and go about the process yet again on the different candidates that come up now for the stocks. You can still click on dark and look at the chart, pick up the prior buy and sell uh, runs and start doing a case study on those stocks rather than just the options. Again, you want to remove that chart, just click and it will disappear. So there you folks, that wraps it up. Review this, watch this, and that's how you backtest options through the darknet buy signals. Hope you enjoyed. See you on future sessions and don't forget to reach me at support at tomgentile.com. Bye now.